Hello. Today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic called land locket property. Let's understand what exactly the word means locked here. Okay. So here land locket property means the land is locked in between the other properties. For example, I'll just show you a diagram now wherein we can see property A is locked property A is locked between all these properties so it doesn't have any physical access like road or passage or anything okay so if the person has to access this particular property he has to either go from any one of the property to access this so these kind of properties are called as land locked properties that is the land is locked in between the other lands okay so what exactly how we are going to do the valuation of this particular property so whether this property is having any value or doesn't having any value it's not like that so as a valuator we should be in a position to analyze the property and give the justice to the client and give a proper value to the property we'll just see what exactly the definition or the meaning of land of the property here it is going to define like this piece of the property that doesn't does has not direct legal access road except an adjacent land or plot that is it doesn't have any legal access road so there is nothing legally we can access it but but we can access it through an adjacent plot or land land locked land is locked up or surrounded by other properties that is as we have seen in the diagram that it has been surrounded by the other properties so then what is the value of that land locked property land locked property typically have a very low value because it doesn't have any access okay so generally we will take anywhere in between 30 to 40 percent of the market value for that particular property so what exactly the protective use that is i'm having a land locked property okay well and good it doesn't have any legal access no problem but i have constructed a building and have given it for rent okay i'm having three houses ground floor first floor and second floor i don't have any parking facility out there but it is actually present in a very prime location in my place okay i've given it for rent the rent is also very good it is a residential building adjacent property uh, maybe the tenant or the person has taken rent of my house in that situation as a valuator we should analyze the property in a different way okay so the approach there is income approach that is the property is gaining some income that is the rent source so we have to approach it in a different way still the value of the total value of the property remains 30 to 40 percent that is the value is 100 rupees the value of the property is 40 rupees but when we go to the income approach okay how much it is actually getting the money from the market okay through rent so we have to add that amount also for that 40 rupees and we have to arrive at the price that is different approaches are there i am going to cover up that approach also very soon in my videos income approach is there market approach is there lot of things are there we will definitely cover all those things so presently we will understand the land locker property is also having certain value that is 30 to 40 percent of the market value but if the value if the property is gaining or fetching some extra income apart from the value what exactly we are going to give it to the property definitely it, the value can be increased so how can we handle the land locker property if i want to value it properly like if i want to get a very good uh, amount or the very good valuation more than 40 percent of the valuation what i can do is i can get a written agreement written agreement from the adjacent owner to provide stress-free way that is i have to get for example we'll just see go to the diagram again okay i'll just remove all these things so for example we'll, we'll see, see that road is there here okay so i am asking property b owner to give a legal way like this okay from this road in an agreement format not orally but in a written agreement format which we are going to register it in the sub register office that is the property b owner has accepted to give a way for the property a owner for certain 
time, maybe 10 years, 20 years. It's, a, it's for a long term, it's not for a short term, okay? Long term, legally. That is the adjacent owner has to give written agreement to the owner A. That is, owner B is giving written agreement to the owner A such that the property value of this A will definitely increase more than 40%. We can take up to 70 to 80 percent of the value. What exactly we are going? We are actually taking. So this is how we can increase the value of the landlocked property. That is one option. Second option is we can inquire to sell the property itself because it's a landlocked property. We don't know which doesn't have any kind of access. That is in that situation what we can do is we can inquire with the property B owner to sell off the property to this guy. So we can have an inquiry and we can just come into a very good conclusion, very good rate in the market so that this property when it is attached to this, this big guy will come and sit here also. So this guy is having a complete holding of this particular property. So the property value automatically increases to 100% because this, is, this acts as a single unit which is having the road, legal road access. So I think you guys are getting what exactly I am telling. Correct. So this is about the valuation or how we can increase the value of the property or what exactly is the definition of land locker property and all those things. For example, if I am doing a valuation for a fire insurance of that particular property, for example, we'll just see that property, uh, the person A is having a building of uh, G plus 3, okay, G plus 3 story building, ground first, second, third floor building. So here he is having certain activity going on there he want to get it evaluated for a fire purpose that is he want to insure his building for the fire if some fire accident happens tomorrow it has to be insured okay he is going to pay the exact premium what exactly we are going to do it he is going to pay the full premium he is not going to reduce anything in that one so he want the valuation of the property in that situation we are going to reduce the value of the land but the total value of the building will be taken as actual. So if something goes wrong tomorrow with respect to fire, I am not going to mortgage it to the bank and getting any loan against it. I think you people are getting it what exactly I am telling. I am going to do the valuation of the complete building, not the land. Okay, I am going to take care of the land. And the for example, when we are doing the fire insurance, okay, I will just clear off this one. When we are doing the fire insurance, valuation for the fire insurance, this is the ground level, it is having a foundation here. Okay, this is the foundation, this is the superstructure. So we are going to assume only this part above the ground level, that is superstructure for the valuation. And upon this valuation, the person is going to insure his building for the fire. So, in this criteria, we are going to take the complete value of the superstructure and we are going to give the valuation for the superstructure as actuals. We are not going to reduce anything apart from depreciation. That is depreciation means if the age of the building is more, depending upon the age of the building, we are going to reduce the amount according to its age. Apart from that, we are going to give the full value for that particular superstructure which is laying above the foundation excluding the land valuation. In that situation, definitely the value of the property remains same for the superstructure as we are going to give it for the other properties which are staying next to the road also, road itself. Okay, that is, for example, if the property, as we were discussing previously, if the property we are going valuing A and B, for example, area of the property A, is equal to area of the property B, that is superstructure property, then the value of these two for the fire insurance will be same. There will not be any changes, superstructure, okay. But when it comes to the land and when it comes to the mortgage of the building or taking any loan against the building, definitely value of property A is much more lesser than value of the property B. So this is about the land locker property. So when we are doing the valuation of the land locker property, we should be very careful. We should analyze the things properly. We should get as much data as possible. Then only we have to give the value for the particular property. So if you have, guys have any kind of doubts, you can just put it in the comment. 
I'm here to solve all the doubts. I'm coming up with some more videos. Maybe in the next video will be how to take the value for the property. If I am from Chikmangalur, I don't know what exactly the value is going on in Bangalore. But due to some reason, a bank person has, uh, the bank people have assigned me a job in Bangalore. So how I can get the value in the Bangalore? So this is my next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.